Hello and welcome back to Jack's of ZX videos. Today we're doing something a little bit different as Editor's Keys just sent over their new FSX keyboard yesterday, so that's what I'll be reviewing today. So just before we get right into it, we're going to start off with the unboxing, just in case anyone's interested. So here's just the box, obviously, all the way around. It's actually quite a really nice box. It's like a mat all the way around it. Uh, it's sort of got that premium feel with that sticker there as well, like a gold sticker sealing it up. Uh, so that's just that off. And then lifting up the lid, you've obviously got the keyboard there straight away. Uh, so there it is, the FSX Exeter's Keys keyboard. Uh, so just taking that out of the box, and that is all there is in there, obviously, because what else do you need for a keyboard uh, with the wire attached, obviously. And there's just the back as well with the little flicks at the top to prop it up and you've also got obviously a USB cable standard to plug into your computer. So Exeter's Keys basically makes all kinds of keyboards for different software whether that's audio editing software or visual editing software anything like that and this is their version 2 Flight Simulator X keyboard with backlighting as you can just see coming on here. Then going on to what the keyboard actually is. So as you've already seen, it's got all of the key commands and key combinations written onto each key. So this really helps you learn what the key commands are in FSX. Not just the key shortcuts, but also the key combinations with shift and control, etc. It really helps you learn what they are and means that you don't have to go looking through the control settings or any files or PDFs or looking them up on the internet. Moving on to how the keyboard actually works, as you can see the control keys are blue and the shift keys are green as well as that. The number lock is also orange but it looks yellow in this but we'll move on to that in a second. So taking the E key as an example, as you can see there's a box with green and next to it the word door and then there's a box with blue in it next to that it says engine start. So you can see what's happening here, you press shift E and it's the door that opens, press control E and it's the engine start that happens. And the similar thing works for the key combinations for number lock. If number lock is on, then for example if you press the 6 key, then it will look right. So you're looking at the orange or the yellow text there. But if number lock is off, then you're looking at the white text. So taking it for an example for the 0 key, just down here in a second, it's exactly the same. You've got panel view in yellow and then you've got in white your left. So number lock is off right now. And then if I press that, it will take me to panel view. If I turn number lock then off again, then we're looking at the white text again and it's your left. Then another really good feature about this keyboard is the fact that there is a backlight. So there it is just going off and then right next to it you've got a button that just brings it back on. Simple as that. But then you've also got three levels of brightness as you can see here going up and then you can see it going down with the button right next to it again. And if you keep pressing that button all the way down it'll actually turn off the lights and if you press the dim up button it'll bring them back on. So you've got two ways to turn the lights on and off and like I said they're similar to a real life cockpit and then obviously I tested it with FSX and I tried it out for a few hours today and yesterday and as it should do all the keys work as they do and it's actually really nice to control and there's some keys even on there that I didn't even know existed some key commands and I tried it out again with email and Word documents and it also types really, really nicely. There's nothing wrong with it. It even types better than I'd say than the keyboard I'm using currently, which is my Alienware Tactex keyboard. Moving on to the disadvantages, there's only two that I can find. One, that the number lock does not have a light to tell you whether it's on and off. To me, I find this extremely important, especially when you're playing FSX. And the other was that I found that the larger keys were a bit patchy on the back lights. There you can see especially the space bar with the LEDs. So in summary, you've got the advantages, obviously that it's an FSX keyboard, I believe to be the only one out there, uh, so it obviously helps you learn all the key commands in FSX. Uh, two, it's got a really slick, sort of streamlined, modern design, which I really like. There's nothing chunky about it, it's very streamlined and it looks great on a desk. And three, obviously the fact that it's got its backlight keyboard uh, that has three different levels of brightness and is similar to a cockpit feel. 
Onto the negatives, as we've just mentioned, it's obviously got no light for the number pad, which to me is quite important when I'm playing FSX to know whether I'm on views or uh, aileron controls, etc. And two, it's a bit patchy on the bigger keys, but that to me is only really noticeable in the space bar. You can't really notice it unless you really look hard on the other large keys. So then in conclusion, what do I think of it? Absolutely an amazing keyboard. It genuinely is all round pretty much. Like I said, only two negatives which are insignificant really and a lot of keyboards don't have them anyway. And it's just such a great keyboard to type with in general, let alone play an FSX. I've already learned more key commands and shortcuts on this thing than I have with FSX itself playing over the years. I genuinely have. There's so many key commands I didn't even know existed uh, and shortcuts. So it's been a great help to me and I'll definitely be using it in live streams and just be playing FSX as well. Uh, and it'll be especially useful for when I have my guests on in my live streams who don't know how to play FSX at all. So uh, that's what I think of it basically. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a thumbs up and make that button turn blue. And if you'd like to see more FSX videos, then make sure you hit the subscribe button. So that is it. I'll leave the link in the description for the keyboard. And thanks for watching. Oh.